M0 FXP Hamtech that's nailed on Hubnet. I want to show these two side by side because the case design is so similar. So I thought I would. So on the left, we've got TID radio, built in Bluetooth programming, VHF, UHF, nice bright torch, and PTT, couple of programmable buttons there, full keypad, and twin you know, twin um, speaker microphone connection and a nice big, quite a big battery. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, USB-C charging at the bottom there. So very nice set, about 37 pound delivered. Why do you, would you go for the TID model? Because it's Bluetooth programmable, you add an app to your phone and you can program it via Bluetooth. But we also have, the Radtel 470X, which is also Bluetooth programmable, also has USB-C charging at the bottom there. Now this, I was lucky, I got this on a really good deal on um, during Christmas, so it's not accurate to say the price, but it was around 30 pound. They both have very similar LED, but there's a bigger LED that you're seeing on the Radtel 470. Now, the Radtel 470 does airband, watch this, if I go one, three, three, uh, and it actually works really well. I don't really know if I'll get anything in here, but look, it switches straight to airband, you'll see straight away. Also does 220 megs. If we go on to the TID radio, which is still a very good radio, lovely colour screen on it, I like the way that... The, it's a different, when you're looking at this radio, it just works differently. You've got VFO memory, you know, it does talk to you. Channel mode, frequency mode. You know, they both do. With this one, you've got your back button there going up and down. If you hold it, channel mode. Channel mode. Frequency mode. And you've got your big long menu. Okay, and then with this one, menu. Menu. When I just got lots and lots of these type radios but i just like it i mean one day i'll pick you know this one up play with it for a couple of days get bored and then i pick this one up it's you know i don't want to use the same radio every day that's really really boring and it is they both have a dtmf keypad they both have shortcuts where you go menu and then you hit the key and you get a shortcut i think not itemizing shortcuts on here actually on the rad tail let's go menu let's try it yeah it is giving you look menu five so it did do the shortcut they both have broadcast radio let's see if i can get into that on this one oops turned on the dtmf um you can set the button to be a pick to, to, to be two pttt's on the rad tail i don't think you can do that on the tid i'm just trying to remember how to get the broadcast radio i think that's I haven't set the shortcut button, but they definitely do broadcast radio, both of them. On this one, press it once, there's broadcast, and I think if you hold, you get weather channels. And I'm sure that both do do weather channels, which is pretty cool. PMR, GMRS, I would say they both do that. Let's try it. Four, four, six. Of course, make sure you don't transmit if you're outside your license conditions. Um, and then we'll just go for four, 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 six. six zero, zero, and normally zero. if they do PMR, they'll do GMRS as well. We don't have that in the UK, but it sounds like a cool function to have. Battery wise, it looks like the battery on the Radtel is taller. So they're not identical cases, but they're very, very similar. I think we'd like to have torches and channel change knobs. I just think we like them. Um, but I can see how they've decided in, the, in these cases they're not going to do that. You'll find exactly the same case design and they'll have a, the torch will be coming out the LED and then they will have a channel change knob. And then these emergency buttons, do we ever use them? I'm pressing it on the TID, nothing's happening there. Oh, we did on that one. Maybe you have to enable it. I oh, know, it did work. So that's about it. Welcome. I've really enjoyed using both of these radios and I recommend them both. They're not the K5. I've got the K5 here and I'm at the moment using the IJV software. I love the K5s. I've got about six of them here and they're brilliant. Look, dual band, sound. 
I mean, it's a bit muffled on that one. Let's just see if we muffled on this one as well. Let's just check. Yeah, you can see it's not muffled there. Excellent sets. Highly recommend. Get lots and lots of radios. Get loads because they're not expensive. I really believe this. They're not expensive. Get a load. Have fun. Play. 7-3.